Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies number two. I wasn't going to record this right now, but there's a mega pinata, and there's only an hour left. And I want to show. Oh god, what is this? The Kiwi Beast becomes larger and more powerful the more damage it takes. Okay. I've never used or knew about this plant before. Should be interesting. <laughs> Now, ideally, we want to destroy these gravestones. These gravestones with little sun icons on them explode and give you sun. So, you know, let's take them out. Is he, so is he like a walnut that, like, does damage? I don't, I don't really get it yet. I mean, him getting damage is a good thing then, I guess. I mean, yeah, he's attacking. Oh wow, he just knocked him back. That's cool. Now he's doing radial damage? Oh my. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> Let's uh, put another Kiwi Beast here then. He looks like a pretty damn cool plant. Of course he is premium, so I'll likely never have him, but that's fine. Come on, kill this jerk. Give me his delicious plant foods. Oh, actually, I was gonna use the plant food on, on the mushrooms, but I think I want to see what the Kiwi Beast does. Oh. <laughs> In addition to growing to its full size, it looks like it hops around and does more damage. Alright. I like it. I can get down with the Kiwi Beast. Doesn't look like this stage is gonna be much of a challenge, though, considering how powerful it was. Well, now it has a radial attack the entire way around. I'm guessing, though, at this stage that it can be destroyed. As, uh, it's taken a sizable amount of damage right now. Also, these gravestones getting a little bit annoying. <laughs> Let's put you here. I mean, I hardly need to plant any more sun, do I? I'm just, I'm just killing everything. Let me test my theory. I'm gonna use this on a new Kiwi Beast. Yeah, now he's full. Does that mean that he's, like, more damaged, though? I don't know. Hmm. But this plant looks like... I mean... <laughs> it's looking a little bit ridiculously overpowered right now, isn't it? <laughs> like, this didn't even take that very, like, very long to set up at all. And he's just... No one can get past him, because he's a... Oh. Yeah, no, this is, this is kind of a messed up plant. That, unless I'm missing something, it's like, <laughs> this shouldn't be in the game. This is crazy. Like, they can't do anything. Let's see how he does against those bucket heads and stuff. Although those bucket heads aren't even on the same lane as them. Like, one of the, like, the original Kiwi Beast is not, is yet to be destroyed. Like, that's the crazy thing. Alright, he killed the Kiwi Beast. Interesting. It did take a while, though. I bet it's probably also less helpful when there's, like, a crap ton of them attacking. Yeah, alright, fair enough. Look, that's not really important, though. What's important, though, is that I am guaranteed an outfit. It might be that outfit, for all I know. Little, little flowers around my, uh, my lava. Oh, boo boom boom Oh, I got the Ryu bandana. Alright, I can accept that. My little garden's doing nicely. Got a few boosts to use, and I'm, I'm at the beginning of the Mayan stage. So, I, I've done my practicing of the Mayan stage, and it doesn't really matter, though, because, uh... I mean, so far the Mayan stage has been pretty easy. <laughs> I don't think I've failed any of the missions on my practice run, so I'll be fine. Also, I have a lot of gems. Now, the decision that I need to make is do I... First of all, how much does a Kiwi Beast cost, just out of curiosity? It is a $5 plant. Fair enough. If I had to choose, though, I'd love to get that thing. I love those guys. But uh, I can get one of these three plants. I think I want to get the Hurricane. It is useful in this stage for a very specific reason. And I've never had the Shrinking Violet before, that might also be really good, but... Hurricane. Never really used it too much in my, uh... 
<laughs> the ad didn't load. Take that. Never really used it too much in my original uh, playthrough of this, but I, I have a use for it right now, for sure. Caution, user Dave. I detect a zombie with a shovel. Can he dig it? It appears to block incoming shots. We need a way to project over the shovel. I know! Telekinesis! Try again, user Dave. So yeah, he has an invincible shield. Anything that shoots forward, he will block. Which is quite detrimental. However, that- oh well, this is gonna ruin everything. Uh, things that are lobbed hit him in the head. Meaning, he does not block them. <laughs> so that's good. We're gonna take my good old Lava Guava. The reason that I have the Hurricane is uh, for flying enemies, and there are no flying enemies, so I'm not taking that. And, I mean, since I have that, I'm just gonna win, so I might as well just take weird things at this point. I guess I'll take you. Also, these guys lob, so they're another thing that can take care of the Shuffle guy. And, um, in the interest of not completely destroying a stage, I'm also gonna use this. <laughs> Let's just use up my really big power-ups right now. Okay, setting up sun grid. Never mind, I was gonna set up a sun grid, but I think it's important to see what the shovel guy does. Hurt! Boom. He takes plants and he throws them three rows back. So, it's kind of annoying, actually. Yoop! Oh, he's still alive. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> So yeah, he completely destroys defenses. He's, he's a pretty rough guy to deal with, actually. But, you know, nothing matters because I have this. <laughs> okay, now we got those guys. They cheat by uh, jumping down closer to your defenses. But I'm gonna try to guava that guy. Bam. Whatever, the stage is already over. These zombies don't even know it yet, but it is over. <laughs> yeah, try scooping that, buddy. See how well it goes for you. You and my delicious lava guava will smite all of my foes. I don't even know if I'm gonna get a cannon. Oh, I got a cannon. Cannon? <laughs> Wasn't sure if it would get those parachute guys. Yeah, they're just, you know, explorer zombies that came to explore this forbidden land. And they got lost or some garbage. I don't know. Boom. <laughs> the stage is, in fact, almost over. Bam. <laughs> Didn't even get to use a, uh, a watermelon here. There we go. Watermelon. Fire. Excellent. <laughs> Everybody's gonna die. Oh, you, you go here. Interesting, it's not detonating because he's frozen. It looks like he has to actually move for it to detonate. I thought he would just detonate. Oh well, no matter. Can't plant on lava, huh? You guys get back. You die. Okay. The next stage should be a little bit harder. <laughs> Ooh, I got a little scarf for my hurricane. That's cute. And uh, no quests I can do. The gold, damn it! I want that gold bloom, but I, I don't. I don't want to like take a few episodes to get it, because I do want to show myself getting it. I don't want to just like get it off screen, because that's a whole series of quests. Some of them are a bit hard. Oh well, I'll make the decision. This plant's interesting. I don't really get the pun though. Hmm. Yeah. I don't get what this thing is. Like I don't get what type of plant it is. <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually. Someone will probably tell me. All right, a special stage, you say? Crosses trip to the lost city. But if you take a trip to a lost city, is it still lost? Is it not then found? These are the questions that I ask myself. Essentially what these are, are they're, they're cabbage pulse, but they are combo cabbage pulse. Boom, 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 boom. 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 They go back and they hit an entire series of zombies. And they are useful against those shovel zombies, to be sure. Now these guys, of course... I mean, I already had them. But the reason that they are interesting is because they are also good for shovel zombies. Even though shovel zombies just throw them away and they don't get damaged by them, 
they have a different power when they're moved closer up, where they become more defensive, and that's the reason. It's to counter the shovel zombies a little bit. In fact, maybe I'll just let that shovel zombie... Actually, that shovel zombie's not gonna get here, is he? Because this guy's gonna kill him. As is his due. Yeah, he just lost his arm. And one more hit, and I'm pretty sure I'll lose his head. Nope. He, he's alive. There he goes. But he would have thrown that guy backwards, and he still would have been able to do some useful things. Because he would have been a defender at that point. Not a very good defender. Not anything as good as a walnut, but... Also, uh... Now's as good as any time. Use the power. Shoots everything to the front row, and then it bounces back, and then it bounces back. It bounces back even farther than the regular shot. Like, the regular shot can only hit three zombies, I believe, before it dissipates. I think that one can just keep on bouncing all the way back. I'm not entirely sure, but it at least does more than three. If I remember correctly. Let's put you here. And this is an entire cluster of zombies I don't really want to deal with. Good. Uh, he broke through the wall. I don't know if this is going to be enough to stop anyone, but... If I just time it... There we are. Bip. Pow. <laughs> he lost his head. Oh, and we get another one. And another! Cherry bomb, uh, right here. Mainly to get the plant food. Good. Alright, well this stage, um, I didn't have a power-up, but I would say it was almost easier than the last stage. <laughs> Shovel guy's coming. Let's bop him. Alright, this guy's too far out, he's only shooting one shot. Oops. Okay, um, I might... I might be wrong. I think that thing only did do, uh, three bounces before it dissipated, but I'm not entirely sure. That's what it looked like, anyway. Yeah, well. That's fine. Just wreck them. Just shoot your whatever. I don't even know what these guys are shooting. They're just shooting, like, weird little turds at people. Turd, turd. <laughs> uh, Arrivederci! Alright, do I get bouncy guys now? Nope, I just got a sack of cash. Alright, I'll take your weird mafia money. I was actually just thinking, like, really... <laughs> like, right before I started recording this, if I found, like, $2,000 on the ground, like, would you return it if you... I mean, that's the thing, you, you have no idea what it's from. It could be from, like, some really rich person who, like, who doesn't even need it. Or it could be from someone who, like, that was, like, they desperately needed that money. They were gonna, like, put down a rent deposit or something. That's why they hid in a weird envelope. I don't know. But, like, I could really use $2,000, right? It would go to a good cause. But then, hmm, I don't know. They've done, like, studies. Like, if you if people find a large amount of money or, like, a lot of people do return it. Especially if it's in a wallet. A lot of people return wallets. If there was a wallet, I don't think I'd be able to not return it. Like, that would just be weird. But just like a stack of money? I don't... I don't know. I don't know. I might be inclined to keep it right now. It's just messed up to think about, because I know that wouldn't have been the case, like, previously. Oh, I already had that. Th okay. I only took that cabbage bolt because, uh... I thought I didn't have the bouncy thing that we had last time. But yeah, I don't know. I don't... I don't know. And then it gets weirder, like, what if you find, like... $50,000, does that make you more or less likely to return it? Because then you could, like, really get into trouble if you caught it, right? <laughs> like, if someone found out that you kept $2,000, I feel like there wouldn't be that much consequence, right? Except you might accidentally screw over someone's life by them not having that money. But if you found, like... I mean, that's, like, federal case money. Like, if you just... And what are you gonna do? Just carry... Just have, like, $50,000 in your, in your house? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking this. Or why I decided to bring it up, but... It's like, I would definitely return a wallet. I wouldn't take any money from it. But if I just found that money on the ground, would I turn it into the police? What if the police just kept it? I'd be so messed up. i do the right thing and the police just keep it? I don't know. Because if they don't find an owner, like... Don't they, like, have to keep it? Like... What if no one claims it? Because it was, like... It was, like... It was drug money or something. What if... <laughs> And then it gets to the point where you're, like, doing something that you know is wrong, and it's like, then you just make stories for yourself, like, I bet it was drug money. <laughs> but what if it was? Alright, anyway. I'm getting off on tangents. It's been a weird day. You don't know what day, though. This is not gonna come out for millions of years. 
Millions of years. So you'll never know that it's March 1st. Now, put this here. He can't scoop it. Alright, he's been hurt. He's been hurt by one that he loves. Me. Flip. Okay, I just flipped his Hegel's cord back. That was a little bit weird. This is also going to be easy, though, because I have that punchy, punchy, punch thing, but I wanted to use him. And this isn't... Again, the stages aren't very hard on this level. A large part of that is because of the the gimmick. The, this gimmick. Again, I mentioned there's two gimmicks. It's going to be a long time till the second gimmick appears. But for right now, the main gimmick is that there are tiles that give you free sun. <laughs> and that is incredibly powerful. Just to have more sun. It's what makes this game go. If you have a lot of sun, you win a lot of the times. So if you just act like you're not getting more sun, and then get more sun, like don't decrease the amount of stuff that you're producing, you just usually have so much. Like I've made, th this is 1,500 sun worth of plants right here. Like really powerful plants. And I'm about to get enough to build another one, like oof. So good. Plus, if I ever fall into a bind, I ain't just... Also, someone told me... I think it might have been Bella. Am I wrong? Well, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But they told me about, like, what a bonk choy is like, and now I, like, want to try one. I'm trying to eat healthier. That's a lie. I'm thinking about eating healthier. <laughs> trying would, um would act like I didn't, you know, earlier today get some ice cream and then have some mini cupcakes that my girlfriend got and then put the mini cupcakes in the ice cream. Like, I don't think I can say that I'm trying to eat healthier when I did that earlier today. But it was delicious. And I, I do need to start working if <laughs> I'm not out of the age where I can get away with that crap anymore. I feel like once I'm 40, I'm just going to be in terrible shape because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing things. I'm not doing the things. Apparently this is the episode where I just talk about random stuff in, instead of what's happening in the game. That's fine. We'll just go blog style. I'm not... <laughs> Man, when you have... When you just have one of these on every row, it just destroys everything. Unless there's like specialized zombies that can rush through your defenses, like they can't do anything. And so far, they've, like, only used regular zombies against me, which is ridiculous. Like, maybe the zombie has, like, a cone on his head or a bucket on his head, but beyond that, there's been no gimmicks in these zombies. Neat. Ram. Only 19 minutes in, though. I'm still good to go. Okay. New type of zombie. As far as protection... This umbrella zombie is the opposite of this zombie. Anything that lobs, it is protected against. So, because of that, you need to make sure that you have forward firing plants and lobbing plants to deal with the shovel guys. So we're going to use both of these guys. And the lava guava helps so much, guys. Uh, I would definitely suggest buying a lava guava when you have enough gems. Um... I mean, the fire guy is good. I just wanted to show him for the video, though. If you're gonna buy one plant with gems, make it the lava guava. It is insanely good. It is one of my favorite plants. Now let's go with the double explosive murder build. And... Anyone feeling cannons? Kind of feeling cannons. The shovel guy, by the way, can block cannons. So be aware of that. And... Also, the shovel guy, a lot of guys that, like, you can you can use spikes to kill a lot of guys. He will knock, he will throw the spikes behind him without stepping on them. <laughs> like, that guy, does, he doesn't mess around. He's, he's a badass mofo that just shovel, he's, he's shovel knight. He's essentially the shovel knight zombie. <laughs> also, I'd just like to point out that uh, the Iceberg Lettuce is really good for just setting on one of these to activate it early, because it doesn't cost any sun. You use it, uh, like if you try to use another plant to do that, like even the Stunion, which I do like the Stunion as a delayer plant, but the Stunion costs, uh-oh. Uh okay, almost lost it. The Stunion costs money. So it costs 25 just to set on there, 
and then you only get like one from the initial. You only get 25 total sun from the initial uh, payout of that. Uh, this is make you leave. <laughs> As a little bit costly in order to just get rid of that guy, but I was thinking he was going to become a problem. Let's do this. And then hopefully I can get one of my bouncy friends up there on that row. Alright, well she's coming in. Let me get this on this row to shoot her. And frozen. And he's going to be an issue. Or he won't, because I can just lava him. But then he's going to be an issue. Hill boy. I didn't bring any any uh, blocker plants. So who do I take out? I guess I take out you, simply because you've been frozen. Uh, or I just kill all of you. Boom. All right. <laughs> Problem solved. All right. Let's continue building the framework for the stage. Got that, that, and that you here. Alright. Now at that distance, I'm pretty sure the shovel guy's just gonna die. So I'm not too worried. I'm gonna wait for this new wave to come out, and then I'm going to shoot out. Oh, oh god. Fire the thingies! <laughs> Putting a cannon here. And fire! I was wrong. The shovel guys cannot block a cannon. <laughs> So cannons work against both types of these enemies. I didn't know that before. Did I just assume that they blocked it? You know what? I'm thinking of the whirlwind zombies. There's whirlwind zombies that block, like, all projectiles, including the cannons. So I don't know why I just thought that they weren't able to block cannons. But I guess you can't block a cannonball with a shovel. At least he can't. I know I can. I know you probably can. But he can't. Probably because he's a zombie. And pop. Pfft. <laughs> Especially when it explodes behind him, probably he can't do it. Well, these stages have definitely proved to be pretty easy so far. Wah! Um. Now nah, let's just murder everyone. How about that? Everybody's murdered. <laughs> well, not everyone, but practically everyone. Uh, I meant everyone. Yeah! Fire the cannons in celebration! Well, that went really well. I almost kind of want to start experimenting because it's going too well. Hmm. Uh-oh. Well, this certainly isn't the time to experiment. Uh, the zombie that I brought the hero kill for is still not here. Oh, I don't get a choice? Well, never mind. <laughs> this is a set stage. I don't have any interesting. There is no... Um, there's no sunflowers at all. So it looks like they are expecting me to use these panels as sunflowers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll essentially have seven regular sunflowers. That's enough to make a pretty good grid. But, oh boy. Let's put you here. And you here. Let's get that sunflower, sun power built up. I definitely remember, actually, I, I said there was no stages that I lost on in my practice mode. I remember losing on this stage, so there's going to be some issues. I don't remember what the solution was, like I was doing something slightly inefficiently. Or I think it was just I wasn't putting the mushrooms far enough out. That might have been it. It's like I wasn't giving myself enough room to, like, breathe. But we'll try not to make that mistake. I'll put them on this row. I've got an entire row of these. I need to set up an entire row of these guys now for uh, for that guy, the shovel guy. Because he will block my mushroom shots. Mushroom shots. I'm getting a decent amount of sun, so that's good. Let's set up another row right here. Oh, that's right. He's a blocker when he's there. Maybe that's not a horrible thing, though. Uh, stop. Right there, sir. We don't want you. We also don't want you, Buckethead, I'm sorry, but it's true. I know the truth hurts, but alas. Put him there, put them there. Alright, uh, I don't know what choice I have here. That row's just untenable right now. Good. Uh, there's no bouncy guy up here. Not good. And there's a Buckethead there, also not good. So that row's looking really bad, actually. 
Uh, let's just load it up with guys. I don't know what else to do, really. Oh, crap. Nope, bad. Bad. No, no. Oh, no. Alright, good, he's dead. Now, if we can just kill the... And I was not paying attention to the rest of the entire map during that time, so... Oof. I'm glad nothing too crazy happened. Alright, you go there. Well, you'll hopefully be able to absorb enough hits to block. This is looking okay, though. I think I think we might be alright unless I get bum-rushed on the bottom here, which I might, because it's not looking great. In fact... Uh... Yeah. Let's just take care of that. If I have to use one power-up, that's not the worst thing in the world, right? But that'll hopefully help me prevent it for a little bit. There's nothing... Oh, there's one guy in the bottom to help with that crap that's happening. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, I got pretty close without using this. Cool. Not bad. I might have been able to handle it down there, but I just didn't want to take any chances. <laughs> Looking good! I'm getting so much money now, too. I, I It's nice. Because <laughs> now that I practiced a little bit, I'm not using it up. Also, I stopped playing, essentially, nearly as much as I was playing before. And when you just play this game, like, every once in a while, it does get easier. Because you get the power-ups from the garden, but you also start building up a lot of money from the marigolds. Because every marigold gives, um... 550 gold, I think, just for coming back twice. Or, you know, you plant it, like, once, then you play a bit, then before you sign off, it'll be on its second stage. When you play again the next day, it'll be, uh, nice and grown. So. Wham! And yeah, if you're having trouble, like, the, the gem plants are very useful. Like, just watch, watch ads. You watch 30 ads, you'll have, 33 ads, you'll have enough for a few of them. I haven't tried that Shrinking Violet yet. I have played a, um... A stage with the Shrinking Violet, like a pinata stage, and it's very good. It completely screws over Gigantors, because it shrinks them into regular-sized zombies. <laughs> and then they can't even instantly destroy things. I think they still do more damage than regular zombies, but they, they can't instantly destroy things, which just makes them useless. That's their whole gig, is they instantly destroy stuff. I don't know if they throw imps either, because then they'd be like super-duper tiny imps, wouldn't they? Hmm. These are the questions I wonder about. <laughs> go here. Well, these guys are certainly just slipping past my current defense, aren't they? But no longer. For Snapdragon. I remember, uh, plant, or er, plant dragon. <laughs> Carson Dragon told me to use his plant brevirant, which are these guys, in battle. That was ages ago. Alas. Remember back then? Back in video, like, six or something? We were so young back then, so innocent. Our snapdragons didn't even have fire helmets, they didn't have a profession. But now, things are much better. You guys don't know what you're in for. Oh no, I'm getting to the spikes, I just need to take care of this. Oh no, it's hurting me too. Oh, I'm on fire. You didn't even get there. This is a pretty brutal defense right here. I'm just worried about shovel guys. I feel like that if, if there's shovel guys, they're just going to ruin everything. As shovel guys tend to do. My mother always warned me against getting involved with shovel guys. I just wouldn't listen. They seem so cool. So confident. So rebellious. But yeah, there is a shovel guy. Say no to shovels. He's going to try to throw my spikes. You know what I say to that? I say, life is like a box of cherries. Sometimes they explode. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, that's gone. Um, I'll just keep on putting things to distract him. No! No, that didn't work. <laughs> and he just keeps on coming. Oh, he's just walking past. There we go. Take that. Well, now the spikes are still here, at least. Actually, I put the I put the spikes on the perfect row, and I didn't even notice... Because uh, when he throws them back, they're still going to hit zombies back here. If I put them one farther, they would have been thrown off the stage, so... Good job, me. No problem, me. I like it. Have I ever shown the plant food version of these, by the way? 
If not, there it is. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Of course, you can't really see that. These guys are like Durans, right? I think so. They're like little spiky Durans. And they're not giving me any other range, so I'm just going to start putting spiky Durans everywhere. Uh-oh. No, he's going to throw my plant-fooded guy. No, screw you. Not on my watch. Pow. <laughs> now you can finally get a good view of how he looks in his plant food form. You couldn't really see it too well before. Eh. Get him! Oh, no. He just keeps on coming. All right, he's dead. Uh, Buckethead is not, though. Let's just kill him. Let's just get him out of my hair. Cool. And you notice the plant food version of this is just like stabbing him, like step, 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 step. Oh wow, he ate the top of his metal casing. That is impressive, sir. Eh. Never even got to use his fire. That. Falling off screen. Yeah, these guys are coming in full force now. Looks like they're gonna get immolated before they get to, like, get through my defense fully, though. <laughs> Because, yeah, he's being hit by four snapdragons. Yeah, he's done. It's just the bucket guys left. Let's put some, uh, let's put the rug under you. No, you know what you want to give me. Wow, they find, look how long that Duran lasted. That was great. I was hoping they were going to give me some spikes, but hey. Doesn't look like it matters. They're being Duranded and, uh, flamed. The flame war has begun. Very nice. Alright. Well, I probably should end the video, but I'm thinking one more. Are you in, you in for one more? You down for one more? If not, that's fine. Thanks for coming. But we gotta go full steam ahead here. So that this LP doesn't take me the entire year to finish. Could happen. Do -do -do, do -do -do. All right. Well, here maybe I can screw around a little bit. Um, you want you, of course. Um, I'm never going to use that backwards firing guy, am I? Let's take the hurricane just so I can use him during the same video that I bought him in. And this, and this, and this, and this. I think that's enough. I think so. The shovel guy, I think during certain circumstances he can throw those bouncy guys back. But he doesn't always, so it's a little bit confusing. Alright, so I just, my delayer plant that I sent back was uh, the knockback guys. Because they were just able to delay forever, but that is over now. It's time to set up my real plants. Sun grid complete. Bling. Let's put you here. We're just going to put the knockback guys there. And I guess Duran's behind them, just in case they get best. And then we'll have one of each uh, of these type of plants. I think I'm going to blow you away. There we are. Get him. Let's put something here. I mean, I certainly set up my sun grid nicely, but... uh. I'm not exactly prepared for an onslaught quite yet. I gotta, gotta step to it. Bounce you. The bouncer. Let's put... Actually, I want... want that behind there eventually. And you guys look like you could be a big deal, but you're not gonna be. And bouncy bounce, bounce, bounce. Now let me see if he throws him backwards or not. Yup. Alright, so I can't use that as anything, but I can use this. <laughs> oh wow, he bounced. That's actually not great. <laughs> Didn't get anything for that. Put you here. For the extra sun. Oh, you broke through. Bounce away, sir. A boing. And Duran. Duran. Duran, Duran. I have a sizable amount of of sun. I gotta get to building here. Here. Lava Guava also, uh, you know, I didn't mention it, but it's, it's clear. Amazing against Shovel Guys. Almost indispensable. 
here and here. All right, the attack grid is the way I want it to be entirely. Building Durans. Additional fence with knockback. All right. We're in very good shape right now. Oh, what was I doing? I meant to plant this and then cause an earthquake of doom. That should be enough to kill him, right? Yep, got them both. Might not have been necessary, but hey. Be a bounce. There. Away with you. Yeah, I mean they can't even they can't even get close with what I'm doing. It's kind of obnoxious actually. So notice the umbrella person. Blurt. You might not have noticed, but not only does she block on uh, bouncy shots, but uh, in the case of these guys that cause in a continuous bounce, she breaks the chain. Like they will not bounce to people behind her either. So she also protects people behind her. So she is a nuisance. And I do say she, it is the only, uh, it's one of only two zombies, I believe, that pre presents as, uh, stereotypically female. In, I think, the entire series, like, there were none in the first game. But there's one here, and then there's, in the beach stage, there are zombies wearing bikinis. But beyond that, yeah. It's got your weird mustache zombies, and you, the other zombies. There we are. Well, I think we accomplished quite a bit, and we got the Duran Duran. This better be a Duran. I've just been calling it a Duran. What if it's not? <laughs> the Enduran. <laughs> yup. Okay, it's a Duran. It's it's a Duran of Endurance. All right, I'm on a boat. That's all she wrote. And on that note, take my coat. I don't know. That kind of petered out, and I'm not on a boat. That would have been a great thing to say on the pirate stage. I'll have to edit that back into one of my previous episodes. I am Cross Knights. Thank you very much for watching. And on the next episode, we will go right here. We've still got a pretty long way to go, but we've also gone a long way already. So, have at it. See you then. Later. Plant idol.